Companies today send user notifications across a growing number of platforms and channels. Courier lets you define user preferences and store them on a recipient profile so that you can send the right notification on the right channel at the right time. But there's another challenge. Many times there are groups of users you want to message with the same notification triggered by the same event. In the past, this meant tens or sometimes thousands of API calls triggering the same notification over and over. But now, with Courier's Lists API, you can create lists, subscribe recipient profiles to them, and send to every user with a single API call. When you send to a list, Courier handles the message fan out, following user preferences and your channel priorities to deliver across push, email, SMS, messaging apps, and more. Next, let's look at how to name your lists using the supported naming pattern with examples representing groups of test users that will subscribe to our lists according to feature access and customer type. First of all, every list needs an ID. Let's call this one web app. To be subscribed to a list, a recipient must have a profile stored in Courier. Let's subscribe these mobile user profiles to our mobile app list. The list API naming pattern supports list IDs with up to four parts. A period indicates a new part in the pattern. We'll use a two-part pattern to identify our list of web app users with access to the new feature. We can create a three-part list ID for web app alpha users. Lists allow multiple IDs with the same number of parts. So here's a three-part list for the beta web app users. There's no limit to the number of lists allowed per part. So let's add four lists with four parts to our example. One for our free alpha users, one for our free beta users. Let's subscribe our business customers in the beta test to a third. And finally, one for our enterprise beta testers. Keep in mind, you must create each and every list, then subscribe all relevant profiles to it. Following the naming pattern lets you use wildcards. This means you can send to multiple lists with one API call. Let's look at a couple of examples. Wildcards are triggered by replacing list ID parts with asterisks. This double asterisk wildcard will send to every list below part two that begins with webapp.new underscore feature. When sending to a pattern that matches multiple lists, Courier only sends one notification to any user with multiple matching subscriptions. Finally, you can also use wildcards in multiple parts within the list pattern. And there you have it. For more details about the lists API, naming patterns, and using wildcards, visit help.courier.com.